I hope that uh, people will have a look at uh, a document that we have uh, created in the Witherspoon Institute based on the work of some outstanding uh, social uh, scientists called Marriage and the Public Good, Ten Principles. Uh, the document has been signed by, I believe now it's 70 or 80 of the uh, top uh, philosophers and social scientists around the country who've looked at issues of marriage and family and parenting. And among uh, the, the lessons that are drawn in uh, in the booklet, Marriage and the Public Good, is the lesson that men and women, mothers and fathers, are not interchangeable. Children need both. Whether we're talking about boys or girls, boys and girls need a mother and a father. Mothers and fathers play subtly different roles in families. Uh, it's very hard to pinpoint exactly what the difference is. Sometimes I capture it as best I can with the following thought. Mothers are very good, if they're good mothers, at modeling for their boys and girls strong gentleness. Fathers, if they're good fathers, are very good at modeling for their boys and girls gentle strength. If you see that distinction, you'll see a little bit of why it's the case that a mother needs a father in the picture and a father needs a mother in the picture. It's parents together playing maternal and paternal roles, modeling what it means to be a man, modeling what it means to be a father, modeling what it means to be a woman, modeling what it means to be a mother, for children to flourish so that they can someday enter those roles and be very good moms and dads. Now, having said that, we know that in this veil of tears, tragedies happen. Uh, sometimes uh, they, uh, they happen as a result of a parent becoming sick and dying or being disabled. Uh, sometimes they happen because of the tragedy of divorce and family breakdown. These tragedies happen. Where they happen, we do the best we can. There are single parents, both men and women around the country, who are at great struggle uh, and great sacrifice uh, doing a great job of being parents uh, for their kids. But I've talked to an awful lot of people who are in that position. And everyone I talk to says, look, we're doing the best we can. We can make it. These kids are not going to end up ruined because of the disaster that's happened, that has happened in our family, but this is not the ideal. The ideal really is a mom and a dad complementing each other, working together. Uh, and, and that's what we need to have as our ideal in mind when we fashion social policy, when we think about what the institution of marriage is, what the family is when we create incentives for people to enter into marital relations, when we set terms of, of marriage uh, dissolution in our law and public policy. It's what churches need to be thinking about and other religious communities need to be thinking about when they make their efforts to help to restore marriage and the marriage culture. They need to be thinking about the importance of two parents who are sexually complementary, a mom and a dad, that can't be substituted for working together, making their love for each other the foundation of a culture of love in the household for the benefit of those children.